Hello and thank you for watching. My name is Merganator and I have hopped in the Ferrari F40. Wanted to give this sucker a go because back in Forza 4, it was one of my favorite cars. This thing was a beast. And here we are going around road America. And Carnage has started already. I mean, I didn't even see that guy. Holy shit, all I saw was a cloud, so I should have known better, but I just all I saw was cloud. So finally get around and let's starting this race after turn one in seventh place. Uh, so let's see what we can do. Hopefully got some catching up to do. Um, the livery is done by A B Graphics, and I'll have uh, his name on the screen as well as listed below in case you miss it. Uh, for some reason, one of the participants, the drivers, they just turn around on this track and just starts racing backwards for no real reason. Doesn't start ramming anybody. Just says, you know what? F the Forza guidelines. I'm going to turn into a ghost and start racing backwards. So he does just that. Uh, this car isn't as fun as I thought it would be. It's still a really fun radical sports car, supercar, if you want to call it that even. But... I don't know, there's something about it on Forza 4 that made it just, like, monstrous. It was just really, really, really good. It was really fun to drive. And on this game, it's a little squirrely. It, it, it is still fun to drive. I mean, you can tune it to have a better grip tune, but I don't know, there's just something about it that doesn't just... It feels underwhelming compared to the Forza 4 version of the car. Still really good choice, though, if you want to race. Uh, try to get around this German guy here, and he doesn't want me to go around him. So I fail returning back to the track. And let's see if I can get around this guy. I don't know if I can get around him without him just trying to... Oh, there he is. There's the ghost guy. I don't know if I can try to get around this German fellow without uh, him trying to ram into me, but I guess we'll find out. Um, for those that have been watching the Elder Scrolls Online videos, uh, that is a run dedicated to my friend's little daughter, Quinn, who's been going through brain surgery. Uh, brain cancer and some other things too. There's things I can't pronounce. Uh, she's digressing. She's uh, she's actually ch um, showing some progression now. And uh, I'm trying to get around this German guy. And yeah, oh, all right. But she's uh, actually she lost a lot of use. Like she couldn't talk and barely keep her eyes open. She can't eat on her own. Um, you know, can't use a restroom on her own, and she's only three years old. Her birthday is in 15 days, and it just sucks. It really does suck that a little girl has to go through all this. And, uh, I finished this race in fourth place. Sorry. And, um, they just hit over the, the GoFundMe goal is $10,000, you know, for medical bills and everything, and they just hit over $5,000. And the Elder Scrolls Online videos, they're all dedicated to this little girl, Quinn. And I even named the character Quinn Strong, because that's the, also the name of the Facebook group. So, I figured I'd just dedicate the entire playthrough series, the entire run, to Quinn. And spread the videos, spread the word, spread with updates. And uh, just spread some links around and just try to... You know, get someone to donate if they can, or even share the links. That's a big help. But it, it's a, it means a lot. They somebody donated over a thousand dollars recently, and I don't know if it was one of you guys that watched the, the the videos, if it was one of my subscribers. But um, it was really neat to see that, and it, it's it it warms my heart that people care. So, uh, anyways, back to the race after a travesty. Um, turn one here on Spa, I end up getting back into fourth place by the time I get through uh, just past the long back section. I skip ahead to lap two here, caught up to third place, and I have Slayer Eddie right behind me. He was actually the, the fastest guy in the lobby for the entire uh, time I was in it. And this Canadian fellow here, he's kind of all over the place, but as am I, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm perfect or anything. But he goes wide here into the sand, and Slayer Eddie and I progress through. Cut a, cut a little further down the lap, and I break way too late. And I'm um, trying not to cut here, so I'm just going to let Slayer Eddie pass and re-enter, and boom. I, I, like, hit the tire wall by a pixel. 
and then kind of messes me up here. So retrying. I'm in the top five still, but I'm trying to get fourth place back again. Kind of in the same section. No, I guess it's not the same section, but he does the same damn thing. Goes wide, and I'm able to pass him. And I finished this race in fourth place. Uh, Slayer Eddie ended up getting second. Probably could have got third if I wouldn't have messed up there. Or possibly even second. So here we go around Rio. Uh, this is not the short version. This, I guess, is the medium version. We got small, medium, and large here. This is the medium course. Uh, Slayer Eddie had the faster times because he was driving the Noble, and that car is just beast. And he had like two seconds on everybody else, but luckily I got to start in second. So here we go around turn two. I'm all up on the curb, which is how I usually take this turn. Going this way or reverse. And yeah, it's really hard. The guy's a really good driver. It's really hard to keep up with him to uh, match his speeds on the straights. The Noble is incredibly fast in this S-Class. And it definitely, uh, definitely is a work of art as is the Ferrari F40, but I'm trying as hard as I can, and I kind of lose it here. Going left and right, left and right, losing my losing my uh, balance here. And luckily, just avoid the tire, uh, tire barrier there, because that would have definitely thrown a wrench in the gears of my race. Coming quick to a close of lap one, I am in second place still, but we got Jigglypuff right behind me who is very quick, hot on my heels. He is gunning for second place. And he's driving a BAC Mono. Actually a very fast and respectable driver. So, I mean, usually when you see people driving B BAC Monos, they're kind of just... Uh, I don't want to be cliche when I say this, but they're just noobs. They don't know how to race, and they don't really respect... A lot of the rules and they like to ram and everything but this guy this jigglypuff guy was uh real classy in his driving and i mistakenly put it in first gear and kind of slow me down here and i'm thinking my f40 can can match him on the straights but this bac mono is tuned really well and is very fast and very good at acceleration i turn in way too early there bac mono goes wide i'm thinking i can catch up here a quick right-hander. One mistake, there was a lethal throw into the tire barrier. Now, hopefully I don't go down this hill as terrible as I did in lap one. And I'm able to maintain it this time. Slow down, drop it into third. And that BAC Mono is just on the line. And I'm surprised no one's hit those damn tires yet. That's a first. All the tires are still there in that chicane. That's very rare. Coming around the final section of turns here. I leave it in second gear, but that was actually fatal. Should have put it in first and started hauling ass. I'm gonna cut ahead to lap four. Coming around this last section, I'm still in third place. Those two kind of pulled away. They got a wreck up here though, and Slayer does not ghost out, and luckily I just miss him. Tapping the wall, the BAC Mono goes into first. We both, we, all three of us get past that guy that was just stalled out there for some reason. And I'm able to uh, maintain my second place ahead of Slayer Eddie. And I finished this race in second. That was the best I could do in this time frame of playing. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next Forza video. Bye-bye.